Hey guys, Kenty J here. In this video, I want to dedicate to you guys, not to myself, anything about RuneScape, Jagex, or anything about that, but I want to dedicate this video to my subscribers and thank you to each and every one of you. Last night, apparently after posting my bonus XP weekend video, when I woke up this morning, I, you know, I saw some new comments, thumbs up, which I do really appreciate, when I, and I really do like when people leave thumbs up in comments, but then I scrolled down and I went on my channel, and I saw that I have 250 subscribers, and I had 248 the night before, or the night when I uploaded the video. When I woke up today, I was like 250 subscribers. I think this is worth a video because 250 is half of 500 and 500 is half of a thousand, which is a great milestone. And I think 250 is actually a great milestone because I did only make a few videos on my channel in a short amount of time and I did gain a big amount of subscribers, which I am grateful for each and every one of you that did subscribe and do actually watch my videos and comment, like, and th like the videos because I really do appreciate that, like I just said. And I'm probably going to keep on saying that throughout the video. Now, normally what people do when they do reach a milestone on a YouTube ac account or a YouTube channel, what they do is they have some kind of event, and I'm talking about RuneScape-wise, they have some kind of event on RuneScape or they make a party or do whatever. But with 250 subscribers, I thought, hey, maybe I'll make one at like 500 subscribers, which I definitely will. At 250, I didn't really plan anything because I did, wasn't really expecting it, and I didn't really even think about it until I looked this morning and I thought, oh, 250 subscribers, this is really good. And I promise you guys, some kind of event or maybe something at 500 subscribers because I do think that it is worthwhile and it's going to be worth it. But, however, I do have something interesting that I would like to talk to you guys about. But before I get to that, let me just show you guys talk to you guys a bit about what's going on on screen I am actually doing my slayer task right now which is living rock creatures and I have a whole bunch of these to kill so I'm probably gonna be here for the rest of the night because they do take a really long amount of time to kill however they are magnificent experience like as you can see since I started this video I already got 4k XP on my XP counter which is really good because how long has this video been rolling a minute or two I really don't know but it is going really fast and this actual timing it's not fast forwarded or anything and I really am getting back into Slayer, and the reason for that is because the new Slayer dungeons are coming out, and maybe if I do need a higher Slayer level, maybe I can get close to the level, and I really do want to get into back into the Slayer flow, because I will be going to that dungeon, and hopefully it is worthwhile and worth my time to get back into the Slayer flow, because as you guys know, I did take a little break from Slayer. However, this morning I had a Desert Strike Room task, and I did get an Elite Clue Scroll, and that basically took half of my day, because after that I went to my new house to help out, and that's basically what I did for the rest of the day, and it took me about three hours to do the Clue Scroll, and I got complete shit, and I will show you guys the clip in a few minutes after I'm done talking, just to show you guys and clarify that Elite Clue Scrolls are worth shit, even though, however, you could get lucky and get a Dirty Druidic, which is a 500 mil piece, I believe, so if you are lucky, a lucky person, then I definitely recommend you doing it, but if not, screw Ellie Clusco, they took up like 3 hours of my time and I got not even 300k, basically the best thing I got was purple sweets which I was surprised because they are 15k now, but anyways what I do want to talk about in this video is Hurricane Irene, because as you guys know I do live in New York City, and New York City is generally considered a safe area comparing to, not, not comparing, referencing to natural disasters and it usually is a safe place because usually nothing really happens here, and last some kind of disaster here was a few years ago and of course I got a random right now but I really don't care because it's just commentating this is old and basically two or three days ago there was a mini earthquake here which basically three to five seconds and it was all over the news basically it was the, everything was just shaking for three to five seconds and I don't really see a point in that however a hurricane is expected to hit this weekend in my area and it is expected to be really devastating and probably the most devastating thing in New York City over the past hundred decades not hundred decades but in the past decades and hundreds of years and it really is because I never really experienced a hurricane tornado or anything like that so I am pretty scared to my balls off I don't know what is going to be going on but a lot of my people like my friends and stuff they're planning on leaving the state and I really don't know what I'm going to be doing probably just going to stay home but right now I am rolling the clip of me getting my reward and right now I'm going to be showing you some clips from weather.com just in case some of you are interested in seeing some stuff about Hurricane Irene and, and some other stuff like that and maybe I will leave link a video of how it is going on right now. Okay, so here I have some footage of weather.com, and I'm just going to be scrolling down for a bit and showing you guys some stuff that's going on. If you want to actually read about this and learn some more, I will link the thing in the description. And basically what I just want to say is that if any one of you guys do live in the East Coast, such as um, Massachusetts, Florida, or New York, let me know in the comments what you think is going to be happening and your opinion is on this, uh, what you're planning on doing to protect yourself, or if you're not doing anything, let me know. 
what you think is going to happen, basically any kind of stuff like that, and basically any kind of your views and opinions. And if, even if you don't live in the East Coast, let me know some comments on what you think is going about Hurricane Irene and how do you think it's going to end up. That's pretty much everything I wanted to say in this video, just talk to you guys about Hurricane Irene, and I'm pretty sure that what Mayor Bloomberg is planning on doing is after Saturday night, I think you're not allowed to leave this day, so if you're trying to leave, you have to leave now, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be uh, closing down the MTA systems and the subways and everything, and they're also going to be closing down service, and you won't be able to call anybody. Um, hopefully they don't close down internet, if they do, then I will not be able to make a video, And but hopefully they don't, so I can make another video and just show you guys how I'm feeling and my experience throughout it. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much everything. The last thing I want to do is thank everybody like, once again for 250 subscribers. It really is a big milestone for me. And, like, I don't know what I would do without my subscribers. I, actually, I do know what I'll do. But I don't want to go back there. And I want to thank each and every one of you again for subscribing. And if you are a subscriber and you are awesome, then you will leave a thumbs up on this channel, on this video and you will leave a comment of some stuff that you would like to let me know anyways guys thank you guys for watching my videos and i hope you guys enjoy my videos and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out